This is the sad story of Rema. Divine Ikubo, better known as Rema, stands out as one of the most gifted artists in the country, defying all odds to build an international recognized music career. Yet, amidst the undeniable allure of his art history, lie questions about his journey. From a background in gospel music to the unconventional sounds of the devil song, Rema's success raises eyebrows and sparks curiosity. Who is Rema? Is he a rebel mothered by the untimely death of his father and brother? Does his prowess as a songwriter indicate a genius at work? Or is he merely a skilled artist who has struck gold? Be sure to watch this video to the end because that is where Rema's true identity is will be revealed. Rema, born on the 1st of May, year 2000, Rema came into the world as the second and youngest son of Mr. and Mrs. Ikubo. His early years were marked by the comfort of a well-to-do family, largely due to the professional success of his father, Mr. Ikubo, who held a high-ranking position within one of Nigeria's major political parties, the People's Democratic Party, popularly called PDP. The Ikubo family revealed in a life of contentment, basking in the privileges that came with Mr. Ikubo's success and financial stability. However, this blissful existence was shattered when Rema's father was found lifeless in a hotel room in Benin. The circumstances surrounding his demise were cloaked in mystery, leaving the family stricken with grief and grappling with the haunting questions that lingered. Given Mr. Ikubo's prominent role in the political landscape, it was only natural for suspicions of foul play to arise. In the absence of a clear plan, Rema's mother found herself in a state of helplessness, struggling to secure even the most essential necessities for herself and her sons. As if fate hadn't dealt a hard enough blow, the Ikubo family was soon to experience yet another tragic loss, the death of Rema's older brother. These deeply personal and distressing details of Rema's life, though hidden from the public eye, would later be brought to light as he took to social media to candidly discuss his profound losses. In September of 2020, Rema posted a controversial tweet about the death of his father and older brother, unafraid to point fingers at those he held responsible for his devastating losses. One of his targets was the People's Democratic Party, whom he openly accused of bearing responsibility for his father's untimely demise, but Rema's grievances did not end there. In a haunting moment, he recounted the harrowing experience of his brother undergoing a surgical procedure in the dim light of a flickering candle. Tragically, an unforeseen accident occurred during the procedure, leading to a fatal cut and the irreparable loss of a precious life. The losses Rema experienced in the untimely death of his father and brother had profound effects on him. Fortunately, music became his refuge and served as a medium of expression for the young artist. In interviews, the superstar disclosed that he grew up as a loner due to the tremendous sufferings he endured. It is no wonder his music carries the weight of his experiences resonating deeply with his listeners. Amidst all these tragedies and financial difficulties, Brahma's resilient mother ensured that her son received fundamental educational qualifications during his formative years. Rema attended primary and secondary school in Benin City, just like any other kid. But as time went by, he made a difficult choice to forego university studies and embark on a mission to provide for his loved ones. With this motive in mind, Rema made a secret departure from his family home and went out in search of better opportunities without even informing his mother. His vagabond journey first took him to Kotonou where he worked tirelessly for a while and then he continued his relentless pursuit of success in Ghana. Rema took on various jobs to make ends meet, but through it all, he had a clear goal in mind to make money and ensure his mother's well-being no matter the sacrifices he had to make along the way. All these were all part of the desperate attempt to amass wealth and provide for his mother and luckily, Rema's unwavering determination paid off. He managed to accumulate a substantial sum of money during his time away and when he finally returned home, he used a portion of his hardened earnings to buy a car for his mother as a gesture of love and gratitude. Naturally, these sparked intrigue and raised questions about the nature of the job opportunities that could yield such wealth in such a relatively short period of time. 
Or is it what I think it is? Bremer's homecoming was accompanied by a reignited passion for his second love, music. Growing up in Benin, Bremer discovered solace and support within the embrace of his local church. Over time, it became a breeding ground for his vocal talent and a place where he could refine his singing abilities under the watchful eyes of the devout. But let's be real guys, life isn't always rainbows and sunshine. Rema, like any other young man trying to make money, soon realized that relying solely on the church wouldn't pay the bills. Financial stability was what he craved, so you know what he did? He made a gutsy move. He turned his back on the holy tunes of gospel music and embraced what some self-righteous souls will label as the devil's music. He took up gigs at parties, political rallies, bars and anywhere he could find a stage and an audience. Naturally, this decision stirred significant controversy within the church and Rema's own family, causing a stir of discontent and conflicting emotions. To them, it felt like a betrayal in action that defied the sacred foundation that had once guided Rema's musical journey. The departure from his gospel roots ruffled feathers and ignited debates about the path he had chosen to pursue. Um. But for me, it was quite weird, you know, most especially to my mom, because, you know, she's well known in the church. So um, I didn't really do much explaining. I just told her to trust me. Slowly but surely, Rema's mother began to accept and even support his audacious choices. Over time, Rema's journey as an artist took shape gradually, establishing an audience for himself. However, his story took an intriguing turn when he formed a band alongside with his then friend, now known as Alpha P, naming themselves the RUNA, Real Nigger Association. Together, they created songs that resonated with their shared vision. Yet, as is often the case, the union between Rema and Alpha P was not destined to death. Whispers in the industry circulated, hinting at unresolved issues and eventually led to their unfortunate split. Speculations swirled and fans yearned for answers, but the truth remained failed in secrecy. Rema's ascension into success was way more than that of his former bandmates, yet an invisible wall seemingly separates the two artists as they had refrained from collaborating, leaving their unresolved tensions lingering in the background. Like countless other artists, Rema harbored an insatiable hunger for discovery and recognition. He yearned to carve his name into the annals of music history to leave an indelible mark on the world. He was determined and so he kept working on creating covers of popular songs but then something clicked in his mind. He had this light bulb moment that told him he needed to try something different and he deliberately selected recently released tracks and decided to reinterpret them. With careful discretion, Rema started this new approach with his eyes on the prize and then fortune smiled on him when he created a cover song by The Prince. That was the moment that changed his career forever. His breakthrough caught the attention of the industry and suddenly Rema found himself in the spotlight he had always longed for. At first, he saw himself as a rapper, but thanks to the guidance of The Prince, Rema discovered a newfound love for Afro beats. Driven by ambition, he immersed himself in the art of singing and worked hard to improve his skills as a performer. Rema didn't listen. Rema didn't limit himself to Afro beats alone. He ventured into realms of pop and trap, letting his artistic curiosity lead the way. But even as he explored these different genres, Afro beats remained his main focus. In 2019, Rema's career took a turn for the better when he signed to Maven Records and released his electrifying single, Do Maybe. Since then, it has been sky high for the young Nigerian as he keeps dropping hit after hit after hit, topping both local and international charts. As we wrap up this fascinating story, we hope that we've been able to show you the real Rema. Yo, thank you for staying with us till the end. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment and hit the notification button so you always know when I have a new video up.